This video and others like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. Please show your support with a like and subscribe, and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any new videos. If you want to get involved with the channel, consider becoming a channel member. There are many benefits to channel membership, including access to our Discord, exclusive deck tech and strategy videos, and the opportunity to help create channel content. I want to sincerely thank all our channel members, as I truly couldn't do this without your support. You guys rock. Go Commando! Hello everyone, welcome back to Dice Commando. This is round two of today's standard tournament here at Gun Guy Games in Portland, Oregon, USA. On the left we have Andrew playing R3P2. He's on Theed Palace. On our right we have Sarah playing deck familiar to both of these guys, which is Mandalorian Maul, which is Maul Elite with the Mandalorian Super Commando and Retribution. Both of these guys are on Theed, of course, so it'll be all, be all about the roll-off for the shields. And let's get this started. So, uh, I think Andrew... Nope, not 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 this time. Maul definitely takes it down, so she'll probably take the shields. Yep, makes sense. Andrew probably would have preferred the shields. But all right, opens with suppressive. Back to Sarah here. Right, rolls in the commando. All right, one for Neiman training on to Ray. All right, here comes Maul. Oof, strong, strong roll. Yeah, obviously not going to use the suppressive there. Now, of course. Sarah can power action Maul, which is re-roll his die, and then she can discard a card to re-roll it again, dealing, and then remove it to deal, if it's showing damage, deal damage to both characters. Alright, so that's what she's going to do. So she rolls, she gets a 1, and now she has to decide whether it's worth the card and the risk. So she drops and gets a blank. That feels bad. Alright, that lets Ray come in. Andrew's not rolling a ton better. The two resources don't stink early, though. All right, discards to re-roll. She'll probably re-roll all three. She thought about the shield, though. Oh, my goodness. All right, Poe. All right, so he takes the shield and puts it on to Maul, probably. That she does. All right, Andrew drops to reroll, leaves everything except the one gun. All right, there's a special, which is worth one unblockable or two unblockable if you remove a shield. Drop to reroll, there's some damage. All right, power action, yep, to blank the villain die. And takes the resource. What she got planned for the commando? All right, Andrew ooh, dropped, well, okay, actually, he doesn't, not a big deal, because he drops his Neiman into the discard, and, of course, Neiman training can pull it back out. Still no pose special. It's really what Andrew's looking for. All right, there's the commando for th three for a pulse cannon, dealing one to go to Ray. Okay. Andrew feeds, removes a Poe blank. All right, discard to reroll. All right, so Andrew's resolving special, so he's going to take two. Then he's going to yeah, resolve Yoda's, and he'll deal two unblockable to Maul, removing a shield. And then he'll do two shields from Ray. And then he'll get to roll that one back in, because the character now has three shields. And gets another shield. All right. Takes two shields off. Or three shields off. Alright, so Andrew puts one in the commando. Sarah claims. Andrew puts the shield onto Ray and then calls it a day. All right. 
right, Sarah will get us started this round. That pulse cannon is a threat for sure. All right, so she rolls out Maul. Okay, damage in a resource. It's not a bad one with Maul because you end up power actioning anyway, so. All right, Ray coming in. There's the Neiman special. Oh man, special, oh, all specials, wow. Wow, Andrew's wow, unless unless Sarah takes off a shield, Andrew's gonna be able to roll in both of his Wow, that's gonna be a great move. Because so he's gonna be able to resolve both of his rays, rolling them back in, and getting the Yodas in the middle. Alright, so power action mall. Alright, so there she's gotta decide. But taking off that shield from Andrew right now is pretty important. Alright, she but shows she drops to re-roll. Right, so there's two, so she still got the shield off. And two on the Poe. There we go. Andrew still probably resolves specials. Nope, Ezra's down first. Now do you remember Andrew will get to pull that Neiman out, which will let him flip a character or upgrade. Alright, two more in the Ray. Now four, seven hit points remaining. Alright, so he's doing specials, so two shields. And then he'll... Yep, so Yoda's... Okay, so he's switching targets, he's going after the commando now, so that two unblockable doesn't matter, and then he'll put two shields on Ray, and then roll that die back in. It's a resource. All right, now he's done resolving specials for the moment because he wants to be able to use Neiman as a pseudo control. All right. Commando came in with not much. All right, Poe coming in. Two focus, a blank, and a resource. Andrew's actually in a good position here right now. All right. Rubs to reroll. There's one and a disrupt. So that'll at least help her get her power action off here on the pulse cannon, that is. So two focus goes to the special and the special. He's not worried about easy pickings against this deck, so otherwise he might have gone to the two melee, two gun. Do you remember Ezra, Ezra special, of course, is worth two damage. All right, there's the power action. So disrupt and then one. Who oh, takes off a shield and then three for one. So punches one through. All right, so there's Poe to, yep, two shields, roll back in. All right, Ray special again. She's got to switch targets at this point. She just keeps going up against a wall of shields. So. so the the right move here is to hit Poe because if she hits Ray, Andrew will just shield up and roll back in. So Sarah's action here. She's still thinking. Yep, that was the right choice, Sarah. Good job. All right, specials, two more into the Mando. Puts him at five. Okay, so resolves Neiman. They swap out, and they'll flip a die to any side, or flip a character or upgrade die to any side. Goes ready to the two. Sarah claims, Andrew will hit for two, puts Amando at two health remaining. But now she'll go into the next round with th 
three resources, which is pretty big for the pulse cannon. All right, so Sarah, will open us up here. She's got to roll in. Usually, you lead with Maul, but she, leading with the commando here is the right move. Oh, she has a dark saber. She's in great position here because she can overwrite. She can try and get what she can. Oh. Oh, it looks like she's going straight for dark saber. So she's thinking about it. But truce, that'll give each of them a dollar with ambush. Oh, puts it right on the mall. I think the right move is to overwrite there. Yeah, that's what she's going to do. And so she's going to overwrite. She'll get her three resources back. She just has to pay one. And then she gets to do a damage to pull for the power action. All right, Poe coming out. All right, special. Oh, man, that's the way to redo it. So Sarah should roll out here and force it. She does. All right, so then Andrew will drop. Yep. Because now that that dark saber is on Maul, when she's resolving the dark saber, gets a plus two because he's twenty. forces with me to remove. All right, and then Andrew hits for two, going into the shields. All right, here comes the big guy. Oh, missed on the, but again, yep, suppressive the three, and then she'll deal one for retribution. Then now she can power action. Yep, she'll power action mall, because remember the dark saber is only when you're resolving it, and since you're re the, the bonus on dark saber is only resolving, and when you're removing it, um, to deal the damage. It doesn't get that bonus. All right, so she dropped a reroll. She's still on her resources. So she missed her power action again. That's two power action misses this turn, or this game, I mean. All right, Ray out. There's some ray melee. All right, drop into reroll. That's where three shields. Oh, man, a one on Maul. She's just not hitting on Maul today. At this point, of course, it's not worth removing because it would just be one for retribution anyway. So, well, so I'm just going to beguile. So blank and then remove. So beguile technically is re-roll, blank, remove. But since you can do it to the same dice, so he would have re-rolled one of those. Then he blanked them all and removed the dark saber. And then Sarah claims she removed the uh, blank, but that's the blank's actually still in the pool. All right, so Andrew hits for four. Oh, sorry, no, actually that's not true. She had theeded. I'm sorry, she had theeded Maul, which makes way more sense. All right, going into the next round. Sarah's got all the money in the world here. Leads with Maul. Man, she cannot buy a melee side. And at this point, she has the resources to do it. All right, Poe coming out, Poe special. All right, she'll power action here. All right, there she goes. That's what she needed. Back to Andrew here. Be curious to see if he resolves Poe or if he tries to roll in Ray. Remember, Poe can turn any die to any side, so he can use it defensively. Right, so overwrites Yoda's with the Obis, so that leaves him without resources. It's a risky move. 
but he can't long game Maul here. He needs to do what he can to put her down, right? There's a pitch to re-roll. Man, only one on Maul. All right, Ray coming out. All right, is that on? That's a Ray special. Sarah has four cards in hand still for rerolls here. Right, pays two for Beguile of her own. All right, rerolls Ray into the two, so probably blanks that and then removes Poe. No, it removes Obi's. Nice. All right, so special for one, and then two shields, and then re-roll. All right, rolls the one shield. All right, drops to re-roll. Jeez, Sarah. It's not working out for her today. All right. Andrew pitches to re-roll. There's five damage on the table. Two blanks. He does still have a re-roll or a blank. Okay, so she played Isolation and went to get Neiman, but it's a uh, character die, so she'll just take Ray. Spot a blue character, remove a character die. All right. There's pitch to reroll. There's two more damage. All right. This is her last card. There's two, and that, I mean that's three shields. That's not the worst. All right. Puts one through first, so Maul's at six, seven health remaining, but he's about to get three shields. Yep. And roll punch one more through, puts him at six health remaining. Right, two into Poe. We should expect Poe to die next round. All right, Andrew claims, so at least he'll be able to get Poe out first, or at least that's the hope. And then it's highly likely that Poe goes down. I remember that Darksaber at plus two can hit pretty hard. But regardless, that power action is going to... Because all she has to do is hit a 1 on the power action. So 66% chance twice. All right, but Poe gets out. He's not going to be able to resolve both. Or all of them, I should say. But he'll be able to get damage in. Pays one, subdues the Ezra's. Okay, so there's three. Man, she needed an act of cruelty right there. All right. Maul. Jeez, Maul. All right, Steadfast moves one over to Maul. Puts him within two. Power action Maul. There's a dead Poe and two shields off. Right, pushing slash. All right, so Andrew's going to get to activate his character and resolve one die. So he just needs a two, which he got. All right, that'll close it out. All right. Man, Maul rolling really poorly makes it a lot easier to win. If you like what we're doing here on the Dice Commando channel, please show your support with a like and a subscribe. Please remember to keep all comments civil and constructive and to help us continue to grow this amazing community. Thank you for watching Dice Commando. Hey, it's Sarah. I'm here at Gone Guy, and like and subscribe for Dice Commando. Have a good time. Yeah.
Thank you.